everyone, it's me Dennis. I'm so happy. I finally got this package that I've been waiting for for one week. Um, it's a trade. It's a partial trade. I paid money, but also traded three of my horses for this horse. Um, I went back and forth with this dude for like two days straight, you know, trying to trade for this horse. And it got to the point where I started hating my collection. I started hating briars. I was like, dude, I'm sick of this. I'm done. Um, and that is because when you obsess over something, it just becomes disgusting. It just makes you want to throw up. Um, but then I chilled for like three days after we, um, you know, made a deal, and I was like, yeah, now I can look at my briars again and actually enjoy them and like them. So the box is so freaking light to the point where it's either the box is just empty or the horse is packed really well. <laughs> Let's hope it's just a horse packed really well. This is gonna be my most rare briar ever. I'm like, you guys, I'm freaking desperate. I've been, I never thought I would own this rat. I literally never thought I would own this rat. And then, and then I also got this box with two horses that I'm actually only looking to sell or trade. I do not like the horse. I bought them because they're pretty limited and I was like, you know what? I cannot just not do something about it. You know what I mean? So when I bought them, um, I'll first open these ones up because I'm not excited about them. I'm only gonna be selling or trading them. Um, if you guys are interested in buying them or trading for them, check out my Instagram for updates. The decorator, I got two of them because I know they're really rare. I mean, they're like limited number. They were pretty limited number. So I was like, okay, I might not like them, but people like them. Um, so I'm looking to sell or trade them. The markings are pretty crisp on mine. I do not like um, decorators at all. Um, I'm really into realistic horses, so that's what I collect. And um, the only one that I really like, I think, is the Blue Ansel that we got for Briarfest 2021 and also maybe holographic up and then that one's also nice but other than that not into decorators and i just want to keep my collection as realistic as possible um, i love the mold though Atellos are freaking amazing so make sure to check out my in search of list um, highlight on my instagram if you want to trade or if you just want to buy these little rats all right let's get on to the good stuff all right <laughs> i am like Man, this is not real. I am a bit stressed out just because I don't know how I'm gonna react. I, for real, I thought I would never own this horse. Like, I know I say this pretty often, but this horse in particular, I was like, no, there's just no way. And guess what? I got it somehow. There's so many of these airbags, whatever they're called. It's here. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is Akadia, the um, web special from America is Beautiful. Only 350 pieces made of this little rat. Oh, I, I'm like, I cannot believe I'm holding this horse right now. Who would have thought? Who would have thought I would ever own a whole list dinky rat? The dapples are really subtle. It's really nice. I wish the paint job was a bit... I mean, not the paint job. It looks very rough in a sense. Um, like the... looks very structured. I cannot explain into words and put into words what I mean, but I'll show you guys some up-close shots of Akadia. Belegro is my favorite mold ever. I have um, two as of right now with Akadia. Um, one that I'm planning to buy. All right. Um... short but um i just had to capture this moment me unboxing akadia because i don't know it's like to me it's a freaking accomplishment again i have these two for sale um if you guys want to trade or buy them check out my instagram if you guys want to see more bright videos and unboxings then make sure to subscribe like this video ring the bell and i'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone